Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 728. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link directly below this video and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 727 to 732. Hey, in this video here, we need a formula that's going to look through all of the names for each one of these projects and tell us true when Chin, Brady, and RC are all working on the same project. Now we'll start this by talking about the count count if function. Now the count if function has two arguments. The range, hey, give me all the things you want me to look through, comma, and now give me the criteria. So if I give it chin, it's going to look through all of these and count how many chins there are. There's one here. Now, this argument criteria, we give it a single um, bit of criteria, and that's mostly what you do with it. But what happens if we just say, sorry, count if, we're going to give you three. Now, I'm actually going to lock this because we are going to copy this down. Let's, F, I had to, let me do that again. You go like this. And once you highlight them, you hit F4 once and it, it, the F4 key puts the dollar signs in to lock that cell reference. Now, let's just see what happens if I hit enter. Zero. I, I can see a chin there. Ah, but if we put it into edit mode, F2, and highlight this, we can hit the F9 to evaluate it, and boom. You can see because there's three criteria, it's going to give us three counts. Now, Control-Z, I'm actually going to copy this down. Control-Enter, and then just copy it down with my little fill handle. And look at this one. F9. Okay, so here you can see it's got a 1, but there's no brandy here. So here it was 111, here it's 101. Well, in Excel logical formulas, a 1 can be interpreted as true and a 0 can be interpreted as false. So logical functions like if and 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 or. So I'm going to escape, come up here, and all I have to do is wrap the and. Now, this is expecting, this is a count if, but the count if is going to deliver 1, 2, 3. And so anytime the AND function sees three ones, it'll see three trues and it will tell us true. AND will deliver a true. Now, notice when I hit enter, it still gives us false. And down here, we saw that the count if was giving us a zero, and we know that's not the right answer. The reason why is that argument criteria is expecting a single criteria. When we give it more than one, this turns it into an array formula. So array formulas, you have to tell Excel that this is an array formula. So you hold Control and Shift and then hit Enter. As soon as you do that, you told Excel this is an array formula. Those curly brackets right there, Those curly brackets are Excel saying, hey, I understand that it is an array formula. Now I can copy this down. And boom, that is a formula that will work. Now, if you want to, what, what's nice about this is you can change, right? I can put in um, con now, right? And now I can see that this is true because con. Uh, Chin and RC are working. So this is kind of a, a better formula here with Control Shift Enter if you're going to have criteria that changes. But what if you didn't have criteria that was changed? You're just like, forget it. I'm in a hurry. I just want to do this. I don't want to put any uh, information up here. You can actually hard code these names into the formula. Curly brackets, and then you have to put double quote Chin and it's not case, case sensitive, chin, and double quote comma, and uh, double quote con, uh, and double quote comma, and then finally RC. And guess what? When you do this, and you have to put it in curly brackets, that's called array syntax. When you do this, you do not have to do control shift enter. Just enter. No, I didn't use control shift enter, and there's no uh, curly bracket when I double click and send it down, boom just like that, it gives me the same answer. So definitely, if it's never going to change, do it that way. You don't have to use Control Shift Enter. But the beauty of Excel, of course, is that you can put criteria in cells as formula inputs, change them, and the formulas update. All right, we'll see you next trick.